Okay, these are the exterior angle theorem examples that we went over in class on Tuesday, November 27th. Okay, we worked on them on Monday, and then we went over them on Tuesday. So the first one, um, we have an exterior angle of 120. So our exterior angle is on the outside, and our two opposite interior angles are X and 50. So we're going to use the um, exterior angle theorem. Okay, the exterior angle 120 is going to be equal to the sum of the, the measure of the two opposite interior angles. So that's 50 and X. So X plus 50, we subtract 50 from both sides and we get 70 equals X. Okay, the other way, um, if you didn't know the exterior angle theorem to solve this problem, it okay, would be first to find our last or our other interior angle. So we notice that these two angles form a linear pair. You know, linear pairs are supplementary. Um, and so 180, they add up to 180. So 180 minus 120 is going to give us 60. So we know that this angle is 60 degrees. By the triangle sum theorem, we know that the three angles of a triangle, the measure of the three angles of the triangle, add up to 180, so we know x plus 60 plus 50 equals 180. So x plus 110 equals 180. Subtract 110, x is going to be 70. Okay, which is exactly what we got up here. But if you notice, this is a longer process. This exterior angle theorem is a much quicker, faster way solve the problem. All right, and it makes sense. Again, we went through the proof yesterday. Okay. Since these are a linear pair, these are going to add up to 180, so we're missing 180 minus 120. We're also missing this angle for the, if we're going to add the three together. So it makes sense that 50 plus x is going to be 120, because if we wanted to find the whole triangle, we know all three would add up to 180. So we're missing the same piece for the linear pair and for um, adding the three angles of the triangle together to get 180. Okay. Second example. First thing we notice is we have a right angle. We know the measure of a right angle is 90 degrees. So we know we have 90 degrees. Okay. And again, we can use the triangle sum theorem to find our missing angle. So we could do 90 plus 70 plus, we could call it Y if we wanted to, equals 180. Then we could do 90 plus 70 is 160. We subtract 160 from both sides. And we get Y is 20 degrees. Then we can do linear pair. So we know there are linear pairs, so we know they're supplementary. So we know 180 minus 20 is going to give us 160. So we know x is 160. And that's fine. That's a perfectly fine way to do it. But again, it takes much longer than using our exterior angle theorem. So our exterior angle theorem says our exterior angle, which is x, the measure of our exterior angle, the measure of the exterior angle is x. It's going to equal the sum of the measures of the two opposite interior angles. So that's 70 and 90. 70 plus 90 is 160. So again, both ways, we got the same answer. Okay, but clearly there's a lot more work in the first way than in the second way. And that's fine for these, but if we get to the ones below it where we have expressions instead of numbers, it makes it much more difficult. Number three. I want to keep saying, is there any questions? But there's obviously not questions right now. Um, so our exterior angle here is 11x plus 2. And the exterior angle, that's the measure of the exterior angle. The measure of the exterior angle equals the measure of the two interior angles added together. So that's 5x plus 10 plus 58. So we have 11x plus 2. We want to combine like terms. So 5x plus 68 
subtract 5x from both sides, 6x plus 2, 68. Minus 2 from both sides, 6x is 66. Divide both sides by 6, and we get x is 11. Again, we can also use triangle sum theorem here. Okay, but it's going to be much more difficult. So to find this angle, right, these are a linear pair, so they add up to 180. So we're going to end up finding that this angle is 180 minus 11x plus 2. And then we would have to do 180 minus 11x plus 2. Okay, plus 5x plus 10 plus 58 equals 180. Okay, and... It's not hard, but it's more difficult and it takes a lot more work, right? We would have 180 minus 11x minus 2 plus 5x plus 10 plus 58 is 180. Combine like terms, so we have negative 6x we have 178 we have 188 plus 58, so 188 plus 58, so we have 9, 4, 246, okay, and that's going to equal 180, okay, subtract 246 from both sides, and negative 6x is going to equal um, Negative 66 divided by negative 6, and we get x is 11, which is the same thing we got here. Okay, so um, both would work, but that one is going to be a lot more difficult. Let's do it the side one. Okay, the last one. Uh, this looks more challenging because there's an x and a y, but it's really not any more challenging. I guess it is more challenging, but it's not, it shouldn't be. It should be, as long as you follow the rules, it should be easy. So our exterior angle is 12x minus 4. And the exterior, the measure of the exterior angle is going to equal the measure of the two interior, opposite interior angles added together. That's 10x minus 10 plus 30. So 12x minus 4 is going to equal 10x plus 20, if we simplify, if we combine like terms, okay, minus 10x from both sides, okay, we get 2x minus 4 equals 20, add 4 to both sides, divide by 2, x is going to be 12, okay, so the question is asking for y, so we have to substitute in 12, so 12 times 12, minus 4. So 12 times 12 is 144, minus 4 is 140. You notice that these two angles form a linear pair. We know linear pairs are supplementary, so they add up to 180. So 180 minus 140 is going to give us 40. So we know y is 40 degrees. Okay. We could have also substituted it here. 10 times 12 minus 10, so 10 times 12 is 120, minus 10 is 110, okay, then we have 110 plus 30 plus y is 180, 110 plus 30 is 140, minus 140 from both sides, and we get y is 40, so same thing, both ways would have worked.